Well, welcome, makers. So today we're going to make an elegant upcycled piston lap. Like all good things, it starts with a piston and a 3 8 nut. My piston came from a very, very seized engine, so I had to use a wire brush on a bench grinder. Bench grinders make this so much faster. And make sure that you get all of the gunk out of the oil ring channels. Look at that. So now you take the rod cap. Grab a hole punch and a hammer for making a hole in the center of the rod caps to make a pilot hole. We're going to make a pilot hole and then finish it off with an 1132 drill bit. Remember to use lots of cutting oil. I'm using old recycled engine oil here. Now we want to use a 1.8 IPS or straight thread tap. Also the more common tapered NPS also works. Remember to use lots of cutting oil. And what I do is I turn it forward one turn and then turn it back half a turn. Turn it forward one turn, turn it back half a turn. Oh yeah, welding time. Now here we have to lock up the wrist pin so our lamp doesn't pivot. Depends what type of material the connecting rod is, but I just put lots of weld on the wrist pin and then grind it down later. Now you want to do the other side as well. Here's where we take the little nut. So we're going to weld this onto the connecting rod so that we can thread that wire actually through this. We'll put a bushing in it, but right now just mock it up and then weld away. So here I take an upcycled little cord brushing, and the problem is it doesn't quite fit right into the wrist pin, because that's where we're going to thread our electrical wire. So what I did was I put it on a threaded rod that comes with different lamps, and then just ground it down just a little bit on my bench grinder. Yeah, so that fits much better and we'll epoxy it in later. Thrift store time, baby.
Take all of the hardware from the upcycled lamp and disassemble it. Here's a 1 8 brass nipple and that goes straight into that thread that we did. We'll epoxy it later. Here I've attached it into the actual receptacle. And we'll squirt it down tight. So now what we do is we actually put the cord bushing on, tie a knot, and then put another cord bushing on the other side. So there's two bushings on either side of the wrist pin, and then we thread that up through the piston. And then once we've threaded it through, we attach the electrical. So there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. Remember, go over the top so when you tighten it down, it actually pulls the wire in. So you remember you want to pull that knot through, put the bushings on each side, and then it's spray paint time. So hit like or subscribe, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.